Case number six is from a 62 year old female. Here we have a plain film x-ray showing an abnormality in the distal femur metaphysis. This abnormality has a sclerotic border. See this white line that you can draw a line all the way around the edges of this mass. The matrix is predominantly lytic, meaning dark, darker than the surrounding bone. However, there are some areas of radio density um, seen with this white uh, fluffy material here. And if we look very carefully, we can see these little circles, these little arcs and rings. And we know from our studies that these rings and these arcs correlate with hyaline cartilage. And we also know that because this mass has this white sclerotic bony margin to it, that the body has had enough time to build up a barrier, build up a wall um, against the, the growth of this tumor so that we know that this is a slow growing, indolent and perhaps benign neoplasm. And finally, this patient's epiphyses are closed, so we know that she's skeletally mature. Tissue is obtained. And here we have an intermediate power view showing a hyaline cartilage neoplasm that is low grade. The cells of interest are small, condensed, and lymphocyte-like. They're uh, fairly evenly spaced out. And the periphery of the hyaline cartilage neoplasm is ossified. And on the right, you can see that the cells are quite bland, they're well spaced out, they're small and contains of hyaline cartilage with peripheral ossification, separating it from the surrounding bone marrow. We are not seeing permeative growth. We are not seeing host bone entrapment. We are not seeing um, invasive uh, features here that is suggestive of a more sinister process. So together with the radiology, we have a diagnosis of an enchondroma. So an enchondroma is a common in up to 25% of all benign bone tumors. Most patients with enchondromas are younger, second to fourth decades, but have a wide age distribution between five and 80 years of age. Half of patients of enchondromas occur in the tubular bones of the hands and the feet, the femur or the humerus. And of note, enchondromas in the hands and feet are often hypercellular. So seeing the hypercellularity by itself should not make you think that it has to be a chondrosarcoma and that in the hands and the feet, enchondromas are often hypercellular. Radiographs are important with hyaline cartilage neoplasms. Enchondromas are typically lytic. They may be expansile uh, growth. The calcifications are often ring-like and the, these little arcs, as well as popcorn kind of fluffy calcifications are often seen. Um, histologically, enchondromas uh, show nodules of hyaline cartilage, well differentiated, that is surrounded by bone and bone marrow. The chondrocytes are small and lymphocyte-like Importantly, is the low power uh, view of an enchondroma that does not show bone destruction, does not show bone entrapment, and it is, does not have permeative growth pattern. Enchondromas will have IDH1 and IDH2 mutations. So the histologic spectrum of enchondromas is interesting. And here's a nice slide that definitely shows the spectrum here, um, whereas on the left, the cells are quite small and lymphocyte-like, and the left center, there, you may find an occasional binucleated cell, and the right center, some of the cells may be spindled and relatively hypercellular, and on the far right, you may have some cytologic atypia. And so cytology itself is not specific for 
a diagnosis of enchondroma versus chondrosarcoma. You need a lot of other pieces of evidence, specifically correlation with radiographs and the low power permeative growth that is seen in chondrosarcomas, which is not seen in enchondromas.